But first, one of the biggest winners at the recent local elections was the Green Party. They more than doubled their number of seats, jumping from four to ten, winning all the seats in a ward in Peterborough and also in a ward of North Northamptonshire. Ben Schofield has been to find out why they're seeing an increase in support. Orton, Waterville, Peterborough, in a sea of blue and red, an island of green. There was a lot of drinking of alcohol here, a lot of rubbish left behind. For three elections in a row, this area has returned green councillors. Julie Howell was the first. It feels a bit cheeky, actually, because it's all right getting one green in, but to then get another and another in quick succession feels, you know, it, it, it's amazing. We're very proud of our achievement. She says that's more to do with local work, like dealing with antisocial behaviour here, than national policy. I would say at the local level it's got very little to do with those big green policies. I and mean, the Green Party is not just about the big stuff around climate change. We knock on the door and we ask residents what they want from us and they tell us and it's usually things very local to them outside their house, in their street, in their locality. This week that's also included sorting out fly tipping, responding after a tip off from residents. Residents ring us, ask us for help and we, we go out there helping. Um, we're, we're out, we're available every single day. Um, we do ward walks on Saturdays um, and often other days, um, but if people need help, we come and help them. The Greens won here with more than 50% of the vote. But this ward, this part of Peterborough City is an anomaly. In most of the other races that they ran in the city, they came third, fourth or even fifth. But there is one other ward in our patch that went all green. If the warehousing plans go ahead, we'd be smack bang in the middle of a warehouse or a warehouse car park right now. Just outside Kettering, a campaign to save woodland threatened by warehouses helped three greens onto the new North Northamptonshire authority. People say if you don't like what's going on in your local area, run for office, get power. What do you think the chances are of actually saving this up? So I'm very hopeful. We're obviously going to try and work with as many people as we can to highlight climate issues, to highlight the threats to green spaces. And we really, really want to save this area. It's so important to locals. It's so important. Um, you know, we've declared a climate emergency. This is a massive carbon sink. You know, how can we be chopping down woods in a climate emergency? We want to support active transport, get more people on their bikes, um, help with promoting green space, stopping the destroying of green space. So just making Northamptonshire just greener and happier. The developer behind the warehouse plans, Buck Lou, say they'll provide more detail about environmental mitigation for their project. Meanwhile, our new green councillors are working out how best to use their new influence. And Ben is back with us now. So, Ben, they've doubled their numbers, actually from 5 to 11, so a few more than I referred to just now, but there still aren't many of them, are there? Yeah, I think that's right. We're talking about green shoots rather than an entire forest of new green councillors. Uh, as you say, from 5 to 11, more than doubling their numbers. Uh, in uh, Cambridge City Council, they would point out that they won around 20% of the vote, one in five voters backing them. Uh, but as you heard in our film in Peterborough, uh, they won around 8% uh, of the vote. But uh, the Greens say, regardless of their numbers, simply being in the room helps shift the conversation. You've seen uh, the uh, other parties adopting green policies, how to tackle the climate emergency. Uh, let's not forget, it's a Conservative government that is working towards uh, taking the United Kingdom to being net zero when it comes to climate emissions. The Conservatives are also bringing in uh, rules to ban the sale of new combustion engine vehicles and new household gas-fired boilers. They're being phased out to help us meet that climate target. We're also hosting, uh, as a country, the UN Climate Change Summit later on this year. Uh, the Greens would point out, though, and ask the question about whether or not those policies go far enough and whether or not they... Uh, are working quickly enough to tackle the climate emergency. So at the moment, yes, small numbers, they have influence, but they don't yet have power, certainly in this part of the world. Ben, thank you very much.